the different seasons seem to affect me quite a bit living at Dancing Rabbit, a lot more than before I came here. Um, in particular in the winter. But generally it feels like the winter is, is slower, there's more time where people are hanging out, more knitting and computer work, and a lot less of the outdoor running around, getting lots of buildings built. My name's Allison Ewald, and I'm from Vermont, uh, where they make a lot of maple syrup uh, with sugar maples. We don't have sugar maples out here, we have silver maples. And uh, I live at Red Earth Farms, which is right next to Dancing Rabbit, and Sand Hill, only a few miles away, they have a lot of silver maples too. And so what we do, what we actually did a few weeks ago, is we go to the silver maples and we tap them, we drill holes in them, and we put in the little taps and tubing and collect the sap in buckets. And when the temperature is just above freezing during the day and just below freezing at night is when the sap flows the fastest, but it's still just drip, 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 drip from each tap. We bring all the sap over to Sand Hill, um, and they've collected their sap over there too. And we put all the sap into the pans that they boil the sorghum down in. And, or that they used to boil the sorghum down in, now they have a fancy steam boiler. So we use the old pans to boil the sap down into syrup. And it takes usually about 45 or 50 gallons of sap to make one gallon of maple syrup. And we think it tastes just as good as the sugar maple syrup that they make in Vermont. So it's the middle of March now and it finally feels like spring is starting to arrive. Um, there's a different kind of energy in the air. The pond is thawing. People are outside starting their projects, starting seedlings, all sorts of things. Um, and I think it's overdue because I know I've been anxious to kind of start doing this the spring thing and I think other people have as well so let's find out what's been going on well I'm just uncovering these carrots that are left from last year I planted a late crop of carrots and the idea was to store them you mulch them heavily and then you can harvest them throughout the winter and um, it seemed to work for most like half the winter and then we got some really cold temperatures and the snow that was covering the ground melted and now I'm just trying to investigate to see if the tops are frozen it looks like some of them are and there's also like some things some animals been out here sort of digging underneath the mulch digging out the carrot tops so but I wanted to have some that were alive so that I could um, replant them in the spring and uh, then they send out um, flowers and produce seeds so I'm hoping to get some seeds out of these. We are currently deconstructing the old electrical system here on this bus and trying to maintain a few things like the passenger dome light that Liat might want to run when she is actually living her bus in situ. Look at that, it comes ah. right out. <laughs> ha ha! Um, and we're gonna take out all this stuff too, which she doesn't want, right? You don't want the heater and the fan and all this old school stuff that we don't need for the new world life you're creating here yeah. in your bus. And uh, so that's about it. This bus, hopefully sometime soon, will look totally different. The interior will be insulated and have nicer walls than these cheap metal things. And, uh, and it'll have a bed and a wood burning stove and maybe a little couch and my turtle sewing machine. Um, and on the exterior, one side is gonna have a greenhouse and the other side will have a berm. Um, and 
The other side, because I guess there's four sides, two of us, the other side will have a porch, possibly, and then the last side has the hood, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that one. It might just sort of be there, or maybe if I'm fortunate enough to get the engine out, um, that hood will hold something cool. Don't know what, though. Well, I've started some seedlings. It's uh, like early March right now, and... Um, so some things like onions, peppers, eggplant, and, uh, and flowers have to be started this early so that you can get them going and then plant them as, as larger plants out in the garden um, so that they get an extension on season they produce more. So first you have to like put the seeds in these pots and then it's sort of important to keep the temperature right for germinating them. Um, which is kind of the challenge now because this greenhouse is the only place that we really have for germinating stuff and it's not quite hot enough here. During the day it's fine if it's sunny, but if it's not sunny it's pretty cold in here. So, And the rest of the other parts of the sky house aren't really that warm either. So I think things are just going to take longer and I'm hoping they don't rot in the ground. But it looks like here there's some onions coming up and... Um, there's some lupins here, it's a flower. <clears throat> some of the herbs are coming up as well. That's about it. Hi Brian. Hello. What are you up to? Looking, looking for owl pellets. Looking for what? Owl pellets to that Owl side. pellets? Owl your owl barf or not owl barf but owl pellets. 